Okay, Honors Algebra 1. Uh, this is the video key for the last night's homework, which is graphing parabolas from vertex form. Uh, after this worksheet, you should be comfortable graphing parabolas from every form, uh, standard form, factored form, and vertex form. Okay, so again, and just like in the other ones, if you want to just look at the answer key of the PDF file uploaded to Google Classrooms, you could skip this whole video if you just want to look at the key and compare your answers to their to my answers. Uh, if you want to watch, feel free to watch. If you want to skip around, feel free to skip around. Whatever works best for you. All right, it's so vertex form. Uh, in vertex form, there's three parts. It's y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay. A is the same a value that we've always had. h is the x value of the vertex and also the x of symmetry. And k is the y value of the vertex, which is also going to be the min or the max value. So this first one, for the vertex, it's always the opposite of what you see inside. So h is 1. And then it's whatever you see on the outside. So k is 2. Your a value is 1. So your vertex is 1, 2. Your axis of symmetry is just h. x equals h. So x equals 1. And is the vertex a min or a max? Okay. It's going to be a min. How do we know it's a min? Because your a value is 1. It's a positive 1. Okay. Now again, there wasn't an a value up there, so it's automatically 1. All right, so let's graph this over 1, up 2. Uh, and again, the bad thing about vertex form is it doesn't give you any more points. You'd have to plug in values. Or you could use your typical graph shapes. Typical graph shapes for an, when a equals 1, you'd go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. So whatever you go over, you square it, and that's going to be what you go up. And then same thing to the left side, you go left 1, up 1, because 1 squared is 1. Or you go left 2, up 4, because four, 2 squared is 4. I put these up, 4 is wrong. Count. Connect the dots. And you're done. All right, second one, same thing. So now you have an A value that's 2. Okay. You have an H value of positive 2, and you have a K value of positive 5. So you have a vertex of 2, 5. You have an axis of symmetry of x equals 2. And again, it's going to be a minimum. Over 2, up 5. Okay. Now in this one, we're not going to be able to fit 5 points on it. Because we know since a is 2, we're going to go over 1 and up 2 times 1 squared, which is up 2. Okay. Reflect it over. And that's all we're going to be able to get on this graph. Okay. Number 3. Negative 3 x plus 7 squared minus 8. A is negative 3, H is negative 7, and K is negative 8. So the vertex, H comma K, negative 7 comma, negative 8. Axis of symmetry, always the H value, X equals negative 7. And, uh... Is it a min or a max? Well, because a is negative this, this time, your vertex is going to be the maximum. And this one, like the other ones, no, we're not going to get five points here. There's as many as we can. There's a vertex. Now, the a value here is negative three. 
We didn't do negative three on our typical graphs, but again, all that A value means is you square however many go over, and if your A value is bigger than a number other than one, you multiply it by that number. So if we want to go over one, we would have to do one squared, which is one, times negative three, which is down three. Same thing going left, or you could just reflect it over. All right, and then four, nothing in front, so A is one. H is five, K is negative three. The vertex is five, negative three. Axis of symmetry, X equals five. And again, it's gonna be a minimum because your A value is positive. So over five, down three. And your A value is one, so it's just your standard one. So however many you go over, you square it to go up. So we could go over one, one squared, is up one. Go over two, two squared is four, so up four. One, two, three. We go over three and up three squared, which is nine. Now again, we could do that. We're just squaring it because the number in front, the a value is one. If the number, in, if the a value was two, you'd have to square it and then multiply by two. If it was three, you square it and multiply by three. So always square your horizontal dif distance and then multiply it by whatever a is. Okay, so we could reflect those same points over. And you're done. All right, so that was the first page. Oh, and then the second page, the same thing. All right, I'm going to run through these pretty quickly. All right, then six. Six doesn't have a number out in the after the squared part. It doesn't have a number out back. It does have an A value of two, and it does have an H value of negative one, but there is no K value. So that means K is zero. If K is zero, that means your graph is on the axis of symmetry. The vertex of the graph is on the axis of symmetry. So it's just negative one, zero. All right, A values two. Oh, this is a min, a lot of mins. All right, and then the horizontal distance squared and then times two because a is two. Now again, if you're not comfortable with this, you can just plug in values, plug in zero, plug in one, get your y value, reflect them over. But again, we go horizontal distance of one, one squared is one, times the a value is two, so over one up two. If we go over two from the vertex, two squared is four, times the a value two, which is up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one also gets is gonna have five points, just barely. Alright. Reflect and connect. All right, this next section, you have to find the vertex and then figure out what the A value is going to be. So finding the A value on this is going to be, it's kind of tricky. Uh, finding the vertex is easy. Vertex on the first one is zero, zero. Okay. 
Now finding the A value. So we're going to have, well, we'll plug in the H and the K first. H is 0, K is 0. So you're going to have X minus 0 squared plus 0. Now obviously we don't need those zeros there. I'll rewrite it in a second. We have to figure out what the uh, what the a value is. So the best way to do that is just count out a good pattern. Okay. Count out, you know, if we go over one, it's hard to tell what that goes up by. But if you go over two, it looks like you only go up one. Okay. Now on a typical graph, when a is one, typical graph, you go over two and you go up four. Okay. This time we're only going up one. So how do you get from 4 to 1? Well, you'd have to multiply it by 1 fourth. And that's what the A value is going to be. Now the other one you could do is, if you go over 4, this graph only goes up 4. On a normal graph, when A is 1, you go over 4 and you go up 4 squared, which is 16. So we're only going up a fourth of the normal distance, which is how you find your A value. So a more proper way of writing this would be y equals one fourth. Nice. You don't need x in parentheses, but we'll do x squared to keep it in kind of vertex looking form. All right, the next one, you got a vertex of two zero. So h is two. K is zero. So our equation is going to have x minus h, x minus two squared plus k plus zero. We'll leave it off this time. All right, figure out what the a value is. We know it's going to be negative, okay, because it opens down. So whatever a is, it's going to be negative. Figure out what it's going over and down by. Over 1, down, looks like 1. Over 2, down, 1, 2, 3, looks like 4. Okay. That's your standard parabola. You go over and then down that value squared. So that means our A value is just going to be 1. Or in this case, negative 1. Okay. You don't need the negative 1. You just need the negative sign. You don't need the 1. All right, this next one's, I mean, it looks like the exact same graph, except it's positive. Uh, over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 4. Yeah, so this is just the exact same graph. So A is 1. H is 2. K is 0. Y equals X minus 2 squared. Don't need the one in front, don't need the plus zero at the end. All right, write the vertex form of a quadratic equation. All right, well, we've been doing that this whole worksheet. A variable due to the graph of a quadratic. Well, look at the different types of A variables that you have. So, for example, if you look at number 7, 7 has an A value of 1 fourth, and 9 has an A value of 1. So, what do you notice about these two graphs? Okay. Well, 9 is much skinnier than 7 is. 7 is a wide graph, and 9 is a skinny one. Now, if you look at... Let's say number three versus number four. Three has an A value. Or no, yeah, three has an A value of three. Four has an A value of one. Your graph is a lot skinnier in three. Okay. So the A value is changing the width of the graph. Okay. 
Let's make some wide and some narrow. If H is positive, how does the parabola move? And how does it move if it's negative? Okay, so let's find a negative and a positive H value. Draw pod. All right, so look at one and two. Okay. The H value is the part inside the parentheses. Oh, these are both minus. Never mind. Uh, let's look at all right, three and four. Okay. Three had a positive, three had a negative h value, and your parabola moved to the left. Four has a positive h value, and it moved the graph to the right. Okay, remember, h is horizontal movement. So if you have a negative h, it moves left. If you have a positive h, it's going to move to the right. So if H is positive, it moves right. And if your H is negative, it moves to the left. We're going to talk about all this in a couple weeks. What does changing the K variable do? All right, well, the K variable, let's find one like that. One and two had K positive K variables, so plus K is at the end, and both of those graphs are above the x-axis, at least the vertexes are above. Three and four both had negative K values, and both of their vertexes are below. So the K changing the K variable changes the vertical movement of the graph. So it moves the graph up and down. So what conclusion can you make about the variables H and K together? Okay. They're responsible for the movement, the transform, translations of the graph. They're responsible for horizontal and vertical movement. Okay, and going back to number five, so I skipped number five because well, I did it the first time, but I did it wrong. I noticed it later. So here's the actual number five. A is negative one. I put positive one the first time. H is positive one. And K is positive four. So we're going to have a vertex at one, four. You're going to have an axis of symmetry at X equals H. So X equals one. Since A is negative, your vertex is going to be a maximum. So you graph one, four. And your A value is negative 1, so it's going to follow the normal horizontal movement. If you go over 1, you're going to go down that value squared. Okay. Or, again, if you go over 1, you do 1 squared, which is 1, and then multiply it by the A value, which is negative 1, so down 1. If you want to go over 2, you do 2 squared, which is 4, times the A value, negative 1, gives you negative 4. You could go over 3. And go down 3 squared, which is 9. And then you could reflect all of these points. Alright, so that's the homework key. If you watched it, if you didn't watch it, probably aren't listening to this uh the whole pdf file will be online on google classrooms 
And uh, that's about it.